Hello folks, Dave here from Creative Guitar Lounge. I haven't been making a video for quite some time um, because I've been a little bit busy getting this built and <laughs> kind of uh, moving into this new studio area. And what it is, is it's actually um, the attic of our, of our house. And it used to actually look like this. So it wasn't really much use for doing anything. We could store some stuff up here. And as you can see, that's kind of what we did. Like I suppose most people with an attic, you just anything that you're not using, that you don't want to throw away for some reason goes in the attic, <laughs> you know? So that's what it was. And to be honest with you, quite a lot of that stuff is now hidden behind these dry walls. <laughs> but anyway, it's been pretty amazing. Um, it, to, to produce music, my partner and I, still create music as well as the sort of tutorials and, and online stuff that I do on YouTube has all been based either in our living room downstairs, the blue sofa, um, or tiny little studio area that we had in a spare room underneath here. And that room was basically less than three metres by two and a half metres, something like that, with all of this stuff crammed into it. So, you know, it was, it was usable, but we knew we had this space upstairs and we decided we were just going to go ahead and get it done. So we got a, a really good local joiner in to have a look and tell us what we could do and, you know, give us a, actually a really good price. It cost much less than we actually kind of assumed that it would based on a little bit of research that we did. So anyway, we've ended up with um, seven metres by slightly more than four metres either side. So absolutely incredible space. Um, what he basically did obviously was that the previous owner of this house had started to do something similar to this and had, I don't know, for some reason got waylaid, ran out of money, couldn't afford to do it, decided not to go ahead. So one side of the wall was kind of partially done and he had put up some kinds of structures which basically had to be removed. So the joiner lifted the ceiling or collar ties from a really useless height about here which kind of prevented you from walking around or doing anything much to up here where you can see the highest part of the ceiling and he built these strengthening walls either side continued that one right along to the end both ends and then obviously drywalled the whole thing and then we got a plaster and skimmed the whole thing electrician and put in these nice lights and lots and lots of power so um, for any of you that are considering doing this, this is not a full attic conversion. It hasn't had a steel beam put in, so this is still a ceiling rather than a floor. But it is very strong. It has very, very strong um, timbers, which the joiner assessed before he agreed to go ahead and, and you know, uh, declare that the place was structurally sound enough to do that. Everything was strong enough for him to do that. And there are various rules of thirds and so on that you can do with these kind of roofs that, you know, this is well within. And it's extremely strong. He's kind of double, put in double beams um, where he's replaced the collar ties that were here. It's all really good stuff. Um, anyway, it's given us this fabulous room. So I'll be continuing with the guitar stuff from here next week. Um, we've just had a lot of stuff to do. I've still got a little bit of soundproofing to do in here. We have done a couple of experiments. My partner has done some vocals up here and some music we're working on and I uh, did some guitar recording through the little black star with a couple of microphones uh, yesterday. So all pretty good in terms of uh, actually the sound isn't too bad. I've brought the acoustic treatments that I've made for downstairs up here. It's obviously a bigger space so we'll have to make some more of those. And the other end of this is my partner. She makes lamps and custom lampshades. So uh, I'll put a picture in here. That's the other end of this this end is, is music and video and it means that um, apart from a lot of other things I can bring the speakers out from the wall in the old room they were tight against the wall which is not good for, for sound particularly for mixing so we're now here I'm able to bring the desk a couple of feet out two or three feet out from the wall and put some acoustic treatment behind there so once it's all finished it should be pretty spot on the good news is um, from outside because of all the insulation that was put in uh, to the roof space before the drywall, it, you can't hear anything outside. So my partner singing or me playing guitar fairly loudly through a valve amp cannot be heard outside. And also if we 
close the hatch here. My partner kind of closed me in here yesterday and she could very faintly hear me um, downstairs inside our own house. But again, that's as far as it would go. I'm actually going to make a hatch cover from that we can put on from the inside when we're up here. Uh, and there's going to be a little balustrade built around the hatch because we're still, there isn't a proper staircase here. This is still a ladder access because I say it's not a full conversion. It's just enabled this space to be used for our purposes really well. So um, any questions um, about this whole process, you know, let me know. Um, I'll do what I can to help if you're looking at doing a project like this. Um, it's been a fantastic use of space for us. It's freed up a little room downstairs, which we can now turn into a dining room. And um, we have also kind of completely redecorated a spare room, uh, a third bedroom that we have down there. So um, it's been a busy couple of months, which is uh, why I haven't been shooting uh, any videos. And I just wanted to update anyone that's subscribed or anyone that's looking to subscribe to this channel on why there hasn't been much activity here for a while, but there will be soon. So um, again, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you have any comments, please leave them. Um, always good to receive those and it helps me to kind of build the channel. So um, I shall see you soon. It's been Dave at Creative Guitar Lounge. Uh, bye for now.